This is the splendid village of Le Castillon de l'Arbouste in the Pyrenees, only a few kilometers from the spa town of Bagnères de Luchon. On Thursdays and Saturdays, the great market of Luchon brings many of the locals together. There is a queue at the mobile cheese stand offering a very appetizing selection of perfectly ripened cheeses, including classic Pyrenees cheeses such as the Napoleon. The owner, Dominique Boucher, is one of the most charismatic cheesemongers in France. Aujourd'hui, ce que je trouve dans les fromages des Pyrénées, ce que l'on met en avant, c'est surtout les fromages de brebis. Et ce que vous retrouvez dans les fromages de brebis, c'est toute la nature environnante des fromages de la montagne, l'herbe qui se retrouve dans le fromage directement. Every morning, at an altitude of 1300 meters in the village of Poubo, Jean-Pierre Lavigne milks his brown cows for the production of his farmhouse cheese called la Tome des Pyrénées. Once milk, the cows walk to high pastures for a feast of fresh grass. J'ai 14 vaches laitières, plus toutes les petites jeunes qui sont en élevage. Donc je fais un fromage au lait cru avec du lait de mon troupeau. C'est une tome avec une pâte cuite au lait cru. Et euh, je peux l'affiner entre deux mois pour, le, pour les plus frais et un an. It takes 35 liters of milk to make a cheese of 3 kilograms. After setting for one day, once unmolded, the fromage is salted and left to mature in a cool cave. Jean-Pierre's farmhouse cheeses are world class and look great. Ça le goût des Pyrénées, le bois. Le bois. Tu trouves le goût du bois? Mm. Le goût du bois des Pyrénées. Mm. Le goût des noisettes, un goût très fin. Et voilà, pas d'agression. Ça agresse pas, c'est très doux. This onion soup with Pyrénées cheese made from both goat and cheese milk is superb. In a heavy pan, I cook three sliced onions in batter for 10 to 15 minutes until lightly brown. I then add one and a half liters of strong chicken stock, bring to the boil and cook for 20 minutes. I then mix in a little Spanish sherry with two egg yolks and whisk this into the soup. I season with a little salt and pepper to taste. The egg yolk mixed with the sherry gives it a nice texture, but also a magic flavor. I ladle the soup into four bowls, top with toasted baguette slices, and sprinkle with a generous amount of grated cheese. I place under the grill for a few minutes until the top is golden brown. This gratin à la Tome des Pyrénées is one of my all-time favorite French soups. Le gâteau à la broche, a traditional type of butter cake baked on the spit, is still very popular with locals to celebrate a special family reunion. And the local sourdough bread baked in a wood-fired oven is like this region, very rustic. Tomorrow we are still in the Pyrenees and I meet a very talented family of pâtissiers.